everybody, Texas Stroker here, Lance's Performance Shop, Lone Star Mopars.com. Sunday night about 9 o'clock, wasn't really hungry enough for supper, so I figured I'd come out here and do something super cool. And what is that super cool thing? Well, we're going to do something a little bit different than we typically do. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen this. This is a totally sealed box. All I've done to this box is pull off my address so nobody can stalk me and come and, you know, try to converse about tools or something but this is from as you can see kc tool <laughs> and uh, i'm pretty excited about it i know what's inside but i don't know what it looks like that'll all make sense as soon as we get this thing opened up uh probably typically the way they do this your uh you know, invoice your packing list if you will is going to be at the top so i'll try to snag that get it out of the way if i can but uh this is going to be something really really cool so i got what i needed and uh it's gonna be pretty neat i'm afraid so what we've got going on uh as i often do i just browse the website and german tools uh the the german websites that i like have to hit the translate to english button uh, on chrome that doesn't really work well half the time and uh, I do that to find like new products or stuff that I didn't know existed that I think, man, that'd be really handy. A lot of times it's honestly something I'm like, man, I'd really, that would help me out in this situation. I wonder why no one makes it and I go looking for it. And uh, of course, you know, you go to like your favorite or preferred brands first if possible. And uh, sometimes you just stumble across crazy things. <laughs> Let me uh, try to do this. All right, we'll, we'll go this direction first. We've got a set of VIT <laughs> precision drivers. This is a seven-piece set slotted in Phillips, and it's actually, believe it or not, going to tie in with what we've got going on here. It's funky, funky camera angle, my apologies. But essentially, if I stick my head to the side, that's what we've got. So you got a, uh, zero, a double zero, zero, and one in the Phillips land, and then we've got the metric stuff. <laughs> And actually, that's still weird to me, but it's just tiny slotted things. We'll take a look at these here shortly. What you need to see with me for the very first time is what's underneath all of this packaging. Now, the tie-in with these is a stand. I know what you're thinking. You're like, oh, it's the KC tool. It's that billet aluminum thing they draw up. You haven't brought one of those in in a while. They added the magnets. What have they done? Must be under the radar. I haven't visited the site. And uh, you must have found some stand that's just like for, you know, a small number of drivers, 7 or 12, right? Not necessarily, although they do have a very nice bundle with the VIT drivers that I can uh, make sure to link for you. We'll take a look at the big stand here in a little bit. This is actually a driver stand from VIT. <laughs> and you're thinking like, huh, I didn't know that. And like uh, precision drivers, they usually come in either A, a case... Uh, you know, sometimes plastic, sometimes metal, if you can like, find something old school. But it's usually, you know, like a little plastic case with some foam in it or something, maybe like a cheap plastic liner. Uh, or you just get them in a box like this, and then you just, you know, throw them in a drawer or, you know, put them in something you've already got. Well, there was something, and I just thought, that's crazy. <laughs> and uh, it was a situation where it's like, what do I do when I find these things? Well, I hit up Colin, and I'm like, hey. You, you ever seen this thing? And uh, it turns out one of the many things that you may not know about Colin is he's actually into 3D printing. And uh, spoiler alert, I pretty much know nothing about 3D printing. It's something I've wanted to get. Uh, I have a ton. There's so many parts that I could make for cars that do not exist. And I say that as someone that doesn't drive a Ford or a Chevy. Uh, you've pretty much got everything you could ever want and it's dirt cheap. But uh, I've got tons and tons of ideas. I also have a lot of ideas for like tool stuff. Uh, one of the big things is just time, and the other big thing is space. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think that technology has advanced. I've got a friend that she makes some pretty cool stuff on hers. Uh, it was something her dad got, and he was like, "I don't want this. You can have it." And you know, she took it and she's run with it. Uh, but like I said, I'm, I'm no expert. I don't know much, and uh, it's just one of those things where I've always like, "Yeah, that'd be kind of cool." Uh, just, you know, like a laser and <laughs> CNC machine, all kinds of things seem like, oh, that'd be cool. But uh, apparently Colin is actually into that sort of a thing, and uh, I showed it to him. He's like, you know what? I think I could probably make that. 
And so he did. There are not many of these probably floating around in the U.S. I think majority of them are going to be from uh, KC Tool employees that Colin also printed off. But you'll note we're getting into some packaging. We typically just see the brown paper. And uh, this one's a little bit different. There's bubbles. Isn't that interesting? And so the rest of this, I believe, is just going to be more brown paper and the packaging. So we've got some bubble mailers there, and then we've got the old school push and pop bubbles. There's tons and tons of food tape here. So I'm going to do my best to not slice myself and try to make this as efficient of an opening as I can. You're probably just uh, trembling in suspense here as you wonder what in the world <laughs> would Colin have printed off a 3D printer that has to do with those bit drivers. Oh man, this is uh. Okay, I gotta tell you, it's pretty cool. <laughs> so, uh, the best way to describe this is simply is something I had never seen. I'd never seen anything like this that sort of looks like, uh, I don't know, like I don't know if they had like a intern that came up with this or just some guy, and, you know, it was like, hmm, we should have a, a precision screwdriver stand holder, but it should be cool. <laughs> I don't know the backstory, I'd love to know it, but... Uh, Check this out. I know what you're thinking. You're like, okay, what's what's the deal? It looks like the slots are up here, right? And that is the case. Now, what he told me about this that I'll go ahead and tell you is that uh, since this has a functional aspect, you know, like it's got to hold the drivers, uh, he went ahead and he made this on, I think, a thick filament setting, if I'm not butchering that. If you do thin layers, it's going to look like way, way better, I suppose, you know. You wouldn't have as much prep work if you wanted to like finish it out. But the thicker it is, two things happen. Number one, the strength, which that's what we want in this case. And number two, uh, this thing took six hours to print, which is kind of crazy. And uh, according to his estimates, if he would have done like the finer setting, it's going to be like an all day thing. That's uh, that's a lot for someone to go through, you know, to make something like this. And I got to say, this actually feels pretty dadgum solid. So I assume he knows what he's talking about because it doesn't seem... I just did a junk from the jungle video. That's what I'm going to start calling Amazon hauls. And I had a magnetic nut cup from like a cheap knockoff brand and it seems like junk. This is infinitely better. So uh, right here, if I set this up, you know, the mat's not a perfect surface, but it's standing just fine. I'll tilt her, tilt her up there for you. This is what it's supposed to do is hold precision drivers, right? So I think what we might actually do is crack this open. And I'll tell you right now, this is nothing that uh, KC Tool currently has plans to sell or like print off or anything crazy. Uh, I will link to the file because I actually found this on the official VIT website. <laughs> but uh, if I crack this open, this is what our packaging looks like. And I just want to get one driver out of nothing else, and I'm going to see. Oh, okay. So this is actually nice. I was wondering how this would work, if it would be like a death grip. Uh, because as Colin pointed out, this sort of looks like a tentacle. <laughs> uh, it's kind of got like that sci-fi vibe to it, right? So, what's cool is your basic set of precision drivers is almost always seven for some reason. Doesn't matter the brand, you're either getting like five or seven it seems like. So if you get a five piece set, you got two extra slots to grow into. And if you get a seven piece set, you're home free. But, that looks really good. That's what we, we need to take away from this. So obviously I'm a fan of black and blue and uh, it works quite nicely. Now you're thinking like, okay, so it's a nice set of precision drivers when you're one of your favorite color schemes and it's a 3D print and stand that looks sci-fi. Now some of you are in right there, like the sci-fi tentacle look, you're like, oh yeah. <laughs> you know? And I imagine any of you that have a 3D printer are like, sweet. I'm, I'm totally making one of those. Give me the link, buddy. All that's down below as well as, of course, the drivers themselves. And uh, as I mentioned, we will uh, have this file down there. But the KC Tool Benchtop Aluminum Stands, I'll have that linked for you. I'm going to tell you right now, there's something else special about this. Now, here's a good look. Let me bring you back down and get you away from the drunk junk at the top of the workbench there. 
you can easily see in bench top orientation uh, your sizes again obviously if I zoom in you'll even be better to able to appreciate it so right there you got your number one you got your zero you got your double zero I didn't really take time to sort these or anything I just threw them in there but that proves that we can read them and, uh, this is kind of where it gets really interesting so I'm not quite sure if this is gonna show up let me preview it before I oh yeah all right <laughs> so are you ready for it okay we're coming in I've got kind of the uh, spaceship here so what I'm doing let me spin this around awkwardly I'm, I'm doing really good not dropping anything if I hold this like this, okay, this is kind of what I'm thinking. You got two options here. Number one, it stands up like we had it on the mat, right? And you think, yeah, that's how I'd want my drivers like this. You know, the tips, they're sort of hard to see and you can't see the identification. I definitely want it standing. Some of you are like, no, no, no. Like, I want it to lay out like this. This is awesome. I just have them in a tray that are all jumbled up. This is a step in the right direction. Now, I will tell you, uh, if you're trying to do like a shallow drawer, this little kick out right here might limit you. I think if you go into like a stage deeper of a drawer, you'd probably be fine. But case in point, like back here, you could put that in a shallow drawer on anything. Right here though, on this end, it's almost three inches. So you'd like be getting into, you'd hate to use this in like a socket drawer, but if you got like a slightly deeper one, like in the Master Tech, for example, all of this, it fits. Like you might even be able to stand it up for all I know. But, uh, if you don't want it on the bench and you want it in a drawer, I'm going to come in and I'm going to turn this around. Are you ready? Because this is super cool. Okay. Dun -dun. I feel like we need like suspenseful music. Uh, I was going to make some myself. Maybe I shouldn't put you through that. So here we go. Uh, first thing first, I'm going to drag this out a little bit more. I want you to pay attention to the logo right there. You can kind of see what I mean by the logo is you've sort of got like the blue with the black in it, kind of a hook thing, right? I'm going to put this guy back in the tentacle. Are you ready? Okay. Uh, hopefully I find cool music, because if not, I'll regret not making it myself, which would be terrible, but slightly entertaining. Are you ready? If I go slow enough, I don't have to time-lapse it either. Do you hear the lights humming, or is it just me? Getting closer. Oh yeah, <laughs> so this is the payoff right here. Is that not awesome? If you can't tell, and I hope you can because it's pretty blatantly obvious, you got the logo here and then you've got Vit. So if you are a fan, maybe you weren't a fan at all until you saw this product. <laughs> like, coolest company ever. I'm going to go buy their stuff. That is sweet. Now, like I said, in order for you to appreciate that, it either has to be laid out on your bench like this, which granted is takes up a bit more space, right, than if it was full vertical, or you would need a drawer that's slightly deeper. I'm kind of thinking if you wanted to, what these legs are doing is they're providing support in this direction, right? Uh, if we stand it back up... I think if you were to lop those off, it would topple this way. I think you'd lose all hope of it standing ever, but I do think you could cut that. Uh, some of you in your software might be able to modify the file. I don't really, again, know the particulars there. But, like, if you just wanted it in a drawer, to get it in a shallow drawer, if you just didn't print these front legs here, which is basically what they are in the vertical orientation, uh, you would be home free, I think, for shallow drawers. In fact, um, just thinking of like the U.S. General 44 inch, I mean, you're basically looking at, and if you had that lopped off, it's under 8 inches, that would, in my opinion, fit. And so, if you've got a screwdriver drawer and you had that, I think it would fit. Again, some of you might have drawers deep enough, this wouldn't have to be modified at all. Let's say that you have the precision stuff for when you do like interior or chips or, you know, aftermarket electronics of some sort. Keep them, lock them up in your drawer, and then when you need them on your cart or you go into the workbench to do some wiring, pop this stand out, stand it, and you're home free. Now, these do fit surprisingly well. I wasn't quite sure I'd asked him 
uh, when he said like, hey man, I printed them off. And uh, I said, well, hey, how does it like fit? Because I was curious with it being, again, not knowing much about 3D printing, how like end results feel and function. I didn't know if like this would be a thing where you like snap it in, right? And then you kind of have to like work it out type of a thing. It's just kind of a loose fit, but I say loose, it fits quite nicely in there. So obviously if I turn this over, they're all going to spill out, but I can shake it and shimmy it a bit and they're maintaining, right? Like nothing nefarious on my end. So it's just a super freaking cool <laughs> little like, I don't even know if you'd call it an Easter egg. If you go through uh, their catalog, which that's where I found this thing, you'll find it too. But I mean, that's it's something I do from time to time. Uh, what was I looking for at that point in time? I was seeing what kind of hex drivers they had. It's a true story. And uh, if you're thinking like, hmm, hex drivers, I'm not going to spoil. Did I already? I know I would have already recorded it. If that got released with what I got for my nephew's birthday, you've seen it. But if not, I'll, I'll give you a teaser. It's kind of like this. And uh, this is a T10. So that's about all you're going to get from me. <laughs> but uh, it's just a situation where I was like, that's kind of like insanely cool, you know? And picture this, you know, like Colin said, you know, like when you do this thicker filament setting, you know, it's not as finite of a pursuit. I don't mind it at all. Again, I don't know, like I don't have one fine printed that took a day here to compare four times longer of a print process. I don't have that side by side to be like, oh yeah, you know, it's worth the extra 18 hours. But to me, this doesn't feel bad at all. It's kind of got a, uh, it's not like the smoothest thing ever, but it's not like it's objectionably sharp. I like it personally. But uh, it's a situation where I could come in and let's say that I wanted to paint this blue or I just want to trim the outline type of a thing. Or maybe you're like super into 3D printers and your wife has like one of those cricket things from late night TV a few years back and you can cut vinyl decals on it or something. <laughs> you know? Uh, that would be an option there. You could totally put vinyl and trim that pretty easy, I think. Kind of get a similar blue color, and maybe you want them to be pink or green. I think green and black. Realistically, this uh, default blue color looks awesome with that, but I mean, like, if you wanted to go full-on sci-fi, you could do red or green. Uh, it's just a super trick little piece, and it's functional. <laughs> That's the kicker. So, seven-piece set, home free. Uh, I true story, like when I opened this up, I wasn't quite sure. I thought it would be printed in white, uh, to be honest with you. So I was thinking like, man, if I paint that thing black and do the blue accents, it's going to be sweet. I don't have to paint it black because it's already, I guess it was printed in black. So <laughs> that's a win. Now let's say that you're going for like a super sanitary look. Uh, I suppose, you know, you could just use the same... I don't know how that stuff works, like point whatever filament in a different color. Maybe you want it to be pink. Maybe you want it to be that vit blue. Maybe you've got like your favorite color of blue. Uh, maybe you want it to be green. I don't know if you can alternate. Again, you're, you're watching a video of a guy that doesn't know these things. So I'm just speculating. But like if there's a way to two-tone it or tri-tone it or something, maybe you could even do that. But uh, in my opinion, the default in the catalog... Uh, which I think I'll link to because that's where the file was supposed to be. That one was just like white. So I'm like, oh, well, you know, if I painted that black and then blue accents, it'd be sweet. <laughs> so this looks awesome to me. So uh, I don't know. Apparently he said there's a lot of uh, like 3D printed people out there that come and critique everything. Uh, if you want to make something better, you go right ahead. But for a guy that doesn't have a 3D printer and just found this and someone was nice enough to <laughs> be like, yeah, that is pretty cool. I think I might print one off for myself and some other people, and I'll send you one too. Uh, I have zero complaints. So again, huge thanks to Colin there. Uh, if, like I said, if you have a 3D printer, if there's one at work that they let you run personal stuff on, if you've got a buddy or a good friend or you know someone, uh, I think this would be pretty simple. They'd have the file. They could probably just crank it out for you. If you do that, uh, do me a favor and post it on your favorite social media. Tag me or tag Casey Tool. Uh, that way Colin will be sure to see it. <laughs> and, uh, I kind of think, like I said, it'll be interesting to see if anyone... Am I in the minority here? Do I just like see this, this stuff and geek out too much and get too excited? Or 
are you watching this now and you're thinking like that is insanely awesome <laughs> you're like why doesn't philo have one you know or you know where's my insert brand here stand that looks like a sci-fi tentacle that's <laughs> uh, another thing i do think you could do if you're not a fan of the sci-fi stuff it would be weird, but if you wanted this to look like a haunted forest type of a thing and you just kind of like bushed it out up here but still had access, you know, to the top so you could easily extract the drivers. All sorts of options. I mean, your mind can run wild. Some of you might even have ideas that tie in with what your personal interests are that you think are pretty good. Whether you print the virgin file or you modify it or you tweak it or you combine it with stuff, uh, like I said, you know, post it, tag KC tool. And uh, I don't know, maybe if it'll come out and they're like, oh, you know, turns out that thing was a good idea. And whoever the employee or intern was that came up with it will get like promoted and do more cool, crazy stuff. Uh, maybe they'll bring it to market. You never know. I mean, that's, that's one of those things. Uh, I turned the TV on late at night and there was something about like post, what did they call them? Uh, country squares. It was basically like the Pop Tart before the Pop Tart came out, but uh, they didn't quite have it like finalized and then Kellogg like rushed the pop tart through development and reverse engineered it and made it awesome and then marketed it not only for just a breakfast food but for an all-day food and snack yeah that type of a thing so very well this person that came up with this concept could have like crazy ideas for I don't know maybe like full-size Torx set and maybe for their standard five or seven piece drivers maybe for stubbies maybe for their hook and pick uh, this person needs to be unleashed and create more things on company time and uh who knows what might happen so that said it'll all be linked down below this set of drivers the kc tool aluminum bench stand uh, and then i'll also come in and we will have the link to the vit catalog that will have the link to this file so uh i've got i don't have one of the small ones i actually was considering purchasing one for this video but uh right here if i can get this over here i've got one in the back with a ton of drivers in it oh i see the magnet on one side is attached to another stand <laughs> I'm totally unaware of that until just now but right here this is what sits to the side of me one of them and this is the big kc tool as you can see uh, one i've equipped this one with the magnet so we've got some nut setters pins i keep pins in this thing because it's super handy there's a let me just tilt it back for you. There's a bunch of VIA stuff. There is a chip lifter from Vera. <laughs> but uh, picture your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if you did go that route, you would have an extra three slots here. And uh, then obviously you got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I think the small one is 24 or 25. Again, I'll link back to the standalone small stand as well as the standalone uh, four the complete set so if i take these and put these vit drivers in so you can get a good look at them and keep in mind like let's say that you for some reason didn't have a standard set of precision drivers or like maybe you do like specialty electronics you got like the torques and the wing nuts and all that type of thing or it might be a situation where you've just used the snot out of yours and your most used drive sizes are kind of like showing their age a little bit getting a little long in the tooth you could come in and you could pick these up try them out versus i don't know maybe you're using vera maybe you were a VA person maybe you had filas type of a thing this kind of gives you a quick look at what you would be looking at with these vit drivers in a kc tool stand so <laughs> if you're curious these are always right by my side because they're just stupid handy and if you're like how do those adhere this is an aluminum stand right and you know did you like drill a hole in it I've got the KC Tool Magnet Kit. <laughs> That's how they're there. Case in point, you might not believe me. Drill bit, I'm going to come to this side. Yeah, it's the magnets. <laughs> so, uh, these are super nice. We haven't shown that in a long, long, long time. But uh, how nice is it? It's nice enough that it sits here on the bench. Two of them, of the 50 slots. Um, we might have to buy the... Uh, the small one, actually. You know, as I look at this thing up close in person for the first time, it's almost like a, you know, with an automotive background, this is almost like a carbon fibery look and feel. Uh, what I'm talking about, just kind of right here, this is super smooth. Even though it's got like the texture, I kind of dig it. But there's a look at the business end. Now, just in case 
uh, you're one of those people. <laughs> you're going to be like, I want that stand, but I have drivers already. Uh, there is a Vera, so it's going to fit. And my Philos are locked up in the main box right now, but I don't know that the... Okay, the Viha is kind of more of like a friction fit. But the big thing here, the way these Vits are designed with that big cap on the end, which I kind of like because that's going to be way easier to turn. Uh, you come in and... Let's see here. You can either... Okay, you can do it like this, or how I did it originally, like that. And that's going to hold really well. Case in point, here the way the VHA is designed, you're not going to be able to do that. And the Vera has a little bit smaller, it's kind of like a hybrid between the VIT and the VHA. So it will actually still hang. So let's say that you know you've got your Vera precision drivers, but they're getting a little long in the tooth, and you want to go ahead and print this off and get all amped up for your VIT precision drivers. Well, now you can, and you'll be prepared to make that next purchase. So, uh, again, this is uh, just a super, super cool deal. The Precision Drivers, I think, were tool of the day sometime in, like, the last month or so, maybe? Don't hold me to that. But, dadgum, this is super cool. So, again, I saw this in the catalog, and I was just like, hey, you know, I need to send that to Colin, see if he knows anything about it, you know? Because at the time, like, there was no link to it or anything, and I thought, like, do they sell that, or is it just, like, oh, some random idiot's going to flip through our catalog online someday and see that and be interested? Uh, he followed up, and it turns out, like, it's a thing, and they can just, it's a shareable file, and uh, he turns out again, which I did not know, to be into 3D printing, so pretty cool little stuff here but i think it looks awesome as is i have no complaints uh and it is functional the strength that feels better than the magnetic nut tray i just had from the amazon site so side to side you know deal right here it's it's rigid so i think i agree with him on the uh, thicker filament setting that he went with because it worked out quite well so once more, I'll just populate this. Now again, keep in mind you can kind of friction fit them like that. I sort of like it like this because then you have the contrast of the driver and then the chrome shaft, uh, which really pops off that black backdrop. Just an aesthetic thing, right? But in addition to being a really nice holder, I think these are actually going to be pretty solid precision drivers. So let me come in with what would probably be my most used, which would be one of the Phillips. And if we take a look, you can see the tip really well there. This is a double zero, so eyeglasses, safety glasses, things of that nature, watch cases. You get the idea, let alone electronics. I do like that the size markings are so easy to read. And again, the big thing here, I love that that's more pronounced. Uh, typically, I'm running these, and they spin really well, but it's not got that lip on it. So that's sort of a... A nice little difference there. Again, pay attention to this, and you'll see that logo right there beside the brand name. So I'm super stoked about this. I think it came out really, really nice. And uh, again, big thing here is huge thanks to Colin. <laughs> when I shot this to him, I never dreamed like you know a week or two later they'd be like, hey, you know, get ready, one's coming in the mail. It's like kind of like whoa. So uh, hopefully uh, everyone that you're printing them off for likes them. And again, like I said, if you're into this stuff, if you've got ideas to tweak it, you can't wait to print one off and custom paint it uh, or letter it, you know, whatever it might be, post it, tag KC Tool. And uh, it's also a very, very good reason to purchase yourself a set of VIT Precision Drivers. I mean, obviously, you got the brand name here. Just as well go with it now. Let's say that you just bought a set of Philos or Stavillos or something, and you're like, man, but I gotta have that stand. Assuming they fit, which I think they would, or you could tweak it. If you keep it vertical, you know, the world's not gonna know that that says VIT down below. So, you know, it's kind of a catch-22, but it could be something you look into. So, here's a couple looks at it. It's a dad gum, that's cool. But uh, LoneStarMopars.com is the website. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all three at Lone Star Mopars. If you enjoyed the video, I encourage you to leave a like. If you got any ideas on this, leave a comment. Uh, if you enjoy multiple videos, I encourage you to just make the jump and subscribe. If you ring the bell, YouTube just might notify you that we got new videos out every Wednesday and Saturday. I am Texas time. 
and uh, you can become part of the people that watch super cool German tools get unboxed. So in this case, every once in a while we have something totally different out of left field or a sci-fi movie in this case. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you make one of these, again, like I said, make sure you tag KC Tools so Colin can see it. And uh, last but not least, huge thanks to Colin, and I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. All right, I can't leave well enough alone. I thought this would be cool, and I think it is. Not sure if we'll finish it out or keep it like that, but little progress. All right, so a little follow-up here. I was editing the video. I thought I'd already recorded this. Apparently, I did not. So, if we come down to drawer number three, what do we have? Oh, well, doesn't that look familiar? And opening her up all the way for the OCD people made in Germany, perfectly aligned with the Vit logo. Aside from this guy, let me try and correct that for you. <laughs> uh, close enough for a left-hand job. Yeah, this absolutely, this is about the shallowest drawer that I've got. This is the 44 inch US General. You can see again the point of contention if you have something slimmer will probably be that uh, top side of the stand, which I'm not sure you couldn't possibly shave at least this portion off of. But uh, as you can see, like no trickery at all. That is in and out with zero issue. Plus it looks awesome like that. <laughs> so uh, I'm thrilled with this. What this will allow you to do if you have a ton of junk up top like I currently do, <laughs> you can, let's say that you're like doing a wiring harness or something and you don't need these up there. Get them out of the way, don't knock them over, don't send them flying to the floor. Finish your job, put everything away. Next time you're out, if you have the need for precision drivers, come to the drawer, pull them out, put them on the bench top. That's simple. Or of course you can just leave them in drawer one. We'll eventually move them to drawer one. <laughs> so for now they're in drawer three because it was the easiest one to evacuate for this video. But uh, yeah, super, super happy with that. Again, this is by far the shallowest drawer. I believe I might have some Craftsman stuff that would be less shallow, but in terms of modern stuff, you're looking at about two and a half inches there and it clears beautifully so yeah if you're curious it'll fit again factor in the measurements if you're going to print it off or try printing it off type of a thing may or may not work in your drawer uh, us general 44 it is a go so super thrilled about that and it just looks awesome so right here it's not out you can't appreciate it but opening the drawer especially with that trim out that we did. Let me know if you like that, you think we should make the whole thing blue, or if we should make it blue and then do a black trim. I don't know, I'm just leaving it like this for now. But man, that looks so, so good. So once more, huge thanks to Colin for printing this thing off. Again, I had no idea uh, he was into 3D printing, but hey, this is the end result, so I certainly can't complain. These things are super cool. Uh, the drivers themselves will pay a little closer attention to in an upcoming tool haul. But, uh, so far, I've only used two and it's in them one job, but uh, I like them quite well. So that said, there it is. Super, super thrilled to see that it fits. And on that note, I suppose this video is a wrap. Hope you enjoyed. Again, huge thanks to Colin. Most importantly, hope you have yourself a fantastic weekend.